Hey y'all, this is Cooking with Coop. Hope y'all having a good day. Thought we would do a little cast iron cooking today. Some people think you can't do eggs in cast iron, but you can. And I'm going to show you how. Remember, if you ain't cooking in cast iron, you ain't cooking. You just need to go ahead and go to McDonald's and get you something. All right, so here we go. We got a cast iron here. It's a beautiful cast iron, well seasoned cast iron. It ain't that hot. All right, we're gonna get this out just, just in case. All right, nice and seasoned. We're gonna use bacon grease in here. Now, the, the thing about cooking in a cast iron, temperature matters, all right? If you're doing meat, you want it to sizzle real good. But with eggs, stuff like that, you want it to be a slow cook, so we don't want it to be too hot. So one way I test before I put my grease in, give me a little water. It's a sizzle a little bit, so I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit, gonna move it, move it off the heat, and we're gonna put a little uh, this is bacon grease from our bacon this morning. I'm going to pour just a little bit in there. See, about that much. See that? About that much? All right. We're going to use two of these because I like both of my hands. All right. I'm going to keep them real nice and tender and stuff. All right. We're going to put that in there like that. You know what? Might need just a little bit more of that bacon grease. There we go. We want, you want them to swim in it a little bit, okay? Now, I know, I know what you're saying. This won't give you a heart attack. Well, I ain't had one yet, so that's proof that it won't. <laughs> All right, that in there. Now, don't crack it on the side of the pan. You just want to make a sticky mass on the outside of the pan. Don't do that. Just whack it real good right there. And take and pour it in a little bit slow. Now, see how it's turning white? Oh, yeah, that's working. Yeah, and just pour it in slow. You don't have to whoop it in there. All right. There it is. All right, let's get the other one in here. Come on. Whoop. Just like that. Now, the thing about eggs is put them in here, and then I don't want it that hot. We'll turn it way down on low. We'll cook them on low and slow. All right. So that's got them two eggs in there. Don't play with them. Don't mess with them. Let them cook. Put a little bit of salt. There you go. A little bit of pepper. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That's too hot. I don't want them too hot. I want them, I want them slow. I want them to cook slow. Now don't mess with them. I ain't mess with them. I tell you what you can do. You can slosh this grease around on them. Oh, they love that. They love sloshing that grease around on them. That bacon grease, see there? Oh, see how it runs up over top of that one right there? It's making them happy. That's what it's doing. You want happy eggs. Grumpy eggs will, will make you sick. You want your eggs to be happy. And eggs are happy. They're only happy if they're in a cast iron skillet with bacon grease. Now you can use butter, you can use vegetable oil, and they'll just be in a good mood. But you don't want eggs that are just in a good mood. You want happy eggs. So you be sure to save your bacon grease so that you can have happy eggs. Now see how they're cooking? They cook it almost, through. here's a good thing. They're getting quite even on the top. Now this one I put in second, so it ain't had quite enough time yet, but it's getting there. We'll work with it a little bit. Look, that egg ain't stuck. Don't you tell, look, did you see it slop? My goodness, it's better than Teflon. I'm telling you it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and fool with this one. Oh, we're getting cold, so guess what? There's my heat regulator. That's how you regulate heat. Mm -hmm. that, that's, you don't have this eye on. <laughs> That wouldn't regulate it very good. All right, so we have it on low. Let's go ahead and put it on medium heat. Bring in the heat up so we cook a little more. Nobody wants to brown their eggs. Nobody wants brown eggs. They don't want them all crunchy. Who wants a crunchy egg? I don't. I want my bacon crunchy, not my eggs. There's a difference. All right, so we're going to scoot this one around. Look at that. Don't tell me you can't cook eggs in a cast iron skillet. I just did it, y'all. Look at there. Mm, mm, mm. Them eggs are so happy that you just about hear them singing. We're going to do these kind of over easy. We can do all kinds of different ways. We're going to do these over easy. So um, one of the one of the tricks about eggs is how to, how to flop them over. See, uh, some people pick them up and slam them like you're spiking a football. That, that ain't how you do it. That ain't how you do it at all. Let me show you. All right, so we're going to take this egg right here. Oh, yep, uh, yep, yep. Get him in a good spot. See there? And then you just kind of flop him over. See? Now watch this. Oh, here he comes. Oh, my goodness. Do you see how easy that was? Oh, 
I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be good cooks. Y'all do this right here. I'm telling you, y'all gonna be good cooks. Watch this. What? Oh! And it ain't sticking. It ain't sticking or nothing. You slide them around. Yeah, bud. Now you just give it a few more minutes here. You make them happy. Splatter that grease around on them. Yeah, see that egg? That egg is loose and moving. And look, it ain't stuck to the pan. I've seen people on, on other cooking shows, when they get done with the egg, you have to clean that cast iron skillet with a jackhammer. This right here, I'm telling you, you do it this way. The key is you don't want it hot. Now look at them eggs. They just, they just sliding around. Yeah, boy, they looking good. Oh, y'all ain't gonna believe it. Let me show you this. You pick this egg up, I'm gonna just turn it up. Oh, look at that. I'm telling you, if that ain't perfect, I don't know what it is. I'm telling you, if I had a restaurant, I'd hire me to cook eggs. <laughs> I would, I'd hire me right now to cook eggs. Look at that. Don't you want one of your eggs? Oh, boy, I know you do. All right, well, that's how you do it. Hey, y'all, do me a favor. Click like and subscribe and tell all your friends about cooking with Coop. I'll teach them how to make their food happy.